Hello and welcome to Failure and Analysis. My name is Kevin Jordan and I'm here today to play Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. It's my first playthrough. The Beast of Winter DLC just launched and I am extremely excited to play this one. I've actually been waiting for the Beast of Winter DLC to pop so that I could jump right in on my first playthrough. Uh, and I'm going to be recording it, putting it up on YouTube and Twitch and talking about the game, game design, and I'm really excited. So here we go, let's get started. A brand new game. The only thing I've done so far is um, they have a set PoE game stats where you basically go through and um, you make selections on all the things you did in Pillars of Eternity 1. I just finished that, uh, my first playthrough, uh, just a little bit ago. And, like, I'd say two months ago. And my memory isn't complete on some of these, as the, the play the playthrough took quite a bit and I didn't do it all at once I took a break in between so some of the earlier things I did I'm not sure exactly so I, I did my best to uh, remember all the things I did but some of the names escaped me so I'm not sure exactly what I did so I tried to imagine what I would have done and pick that I played a monk in uh, Pillars Eternity 1 I'm gonna do something a little different more to my my classic play roots which is sword and board I'll be the tank and uh, let the rest of the characters do all the other fun stuff so brand new game here we go all right got our difficulty modes story difficulty <laughs> just a funny little thing about little history about this I think this in PoE 1 at one point was called story time and a lot of people took offense because it made them sound infantile like they were being read a bedtime story and so it just proved how important it is to get the naming of these things right uh -huh. and uh, now it's story difficulty no more story time or story mode or anything like that just story difficulty relaxed New to real time with pause combat. Classic difficulty challenge. That's not for me. Standard. I don't think so. I think I'm going to do veteran. Yeah, I think this is perfect for me. I think Path of the Damned um, will force me to do things that I don't particularly enjoy, like excessive kiting or trying to exploit. AI pathing or um, terrain in such a way that I don't find particularly fun. So I'm going to play it a little more straight up and I think Veteran will give me a nice challenge. I'm sure it will. Um, and also give me some of the more um, devious spells and abilities. Um, so I think that's perfect for me. Modifications. Trial of Iron. Only one save file. No, I'm not that bold. Helper features. Nope, I like the helper features. Level scaling. I'm going to play it without level scaling. Um... Yeah, and see how that plays. I'm gonna try the default. Um, on a, if I do a follow-up playthrough, level scaling is something I might turn on, but I think for my first playthrough, I'll turn it off. Um, all right, so we're ready. Ooh, I like it. Nice shot.
Pandora. A world where mortals live, die, and are reborn through the turning of the wheel. The cycle of reincarnation watched over by the gods, and made possible through pillars of a mystical substance known as Audra. Five years ago, you traveled from your home to the Dilu. A nation that had waged war against the incarnated god of light, Aethys, resulting in his destruction. The country suffered from a plague of hollow blood. Infants born without souls. That many believed was punishment for killing a god. In an ancient, secluded ruin, you witnessed a secret ritual that inadvertently transformed you into a watcher. One who can see and speak with souls. The ritual also gave you horrible visions. Waking nightmares of a past life that threatened your sanity. To put them to rest, you pursued the man who had led the ritual. A seemingly immortal agent of the gods. Known as Theos Ix Arcanum. With divine assistance, you confronted and defeated Theos, ending your visions and resolving the Hollowborn crisis. In so doing, you also learned the great secret that Theos had protected. That the ancient empire of Anguin had transformed themselves into gods. Your visions finally put to rest, you retired to the castle of Cadmus built atop a massive statue of pure Audra, where you ruled in relative peace and prosperity. Hey, new kid. How you doing today? This is Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire with the new Beast of Winter DLC. By Obsidian Entertainment. Fixing up that old keep, lifting the curse. Must have told it a hundred times. But something got to know with me. I'm thinking the spirits there weren't really at rest. But maybe the gods weren't finished with us. Jeez. He looks a little angry. Or maybe he just didn't notice there were a bunch of dudes there. He's like, oh, my bad. Yes, I did. I have played Tyranny quite a bit, in fact. I actually was one of the senior designers on the team that made that game. That's why I'm super excited to play this one. I guess I'm dead. Cruising around. You have seen past the shroud. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. A watcher sees souls, knows their pasts, and the souls see them back. Yeah, they do take some investment, but uh, they are worth it. They're super fun.
I love this. What is a god? Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked? So I assume all these dudes are like the soldiers that worked for me? They just they got here at the same time? I'm like, dang, this is a long walk. The gods aren't real, but something else entirely. Something created by people. And did you ever consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you? I considered it. I know it. Please. Let the world see. Let them decide. Uh oh. I've got a healthy number of auto pauses on, but I'm not sure which one that one was. Come. Reborn is level one. No. Say it isn't so. An aged dwarf shares this strange floating platform with you. His face is creased by so many wrinkles that his features lie buried amid shadowy pockets of skin. Still, the dwarf's well-practiced habits have left telltale tracks of a welcoming rictus across his face. I am certainly going to play Blood Bowl 2 later. Um, Kislev, I'm not sure. I feel like after last night's game, that's another delete. Which means I might move on to Underworld. So I'm still thinking about that one. Not sure yet. Please continue with your Rictus. You can see his smile coming before. Shaping the dwarf's face from a hanging sack of flesh into something resembling an oddly carved merry gourd, replete with unhealthy bumps and discolored splotches. Ew. You got a little something on your face there. The creases of the dwarf's face tighten into a smile. As he gives you a courteous nod. Oh, Magneto. There's loot. Ooh, I like that. That is excellent presentation. I like that a lot. Swings out in a nice, beautiful window. Sometimes, like in Tyranny, we had the little question marks, but they were somewhat easy to miss if you weren't observant, which, when you're a new player, you're taking in so many things that it's easy to miss little elements of the UI, so that was really nice to see it pop out and present itself. Of course, I don't have the full UI yet, but also a good thing. Yeah, this opening's really great. Oh, I get to play some Gwent. Is this Gwent? Thank you for joining us, Watcher Academy. Or is it Hex, Shards of Fate? Bum. The gaunt woman seated at the table is clad in time-worn black plug. armor that seems too massive for her to move in. Oh, you're welcome. A pale, slender neck rises from the gorget, topped by a hollow face. The milky skin stretched across it is delicate and translucent. Ugh. Ugh. She's preoccupied with the arrangement of cards on the table between them. Each 
movement, her armor squeaks and groans as though bearing an incredible weight. She places a final card, gives a nod of satisfaction, and raises her eyes to meet yours. Your brush with the divine has drained you of your powers, no. fractured your memories. Look upon these cards. They represent the courses of your life. You alone know best how they flowed. Arrange them to fit what you remember. Everything bad. <laughs> well, I gotta read these. Benevolent soul. Oh, charitable, kind. Prince Charming. Fair and balanced. That sounds more like me. You return the lost Holoborn souls to the wheel, which is what I did, as you had pledged. Most other choices were judicious and balanced, tempered by rational thought and fairness rather than sympathy or emotion. All right. Survival the fittest. You use the souls of the heart Holoborn to strengthen the Deerwood, as you had pledged to, Galloween. Most other choices were made to strengthen you and your allies while punishing and weakening your enemies. All right. Dark times, you can sign the souls of the Holoborn to oblivion, as you had pledged to Rimgrand. Rimmergand. You left a wake of physical destruction and spiritual annihilation wherever you went, ah, seeking to bring a final end to all things. Fresh off your tyranny playthrough, you came to Pillars. Keeper of Secrets. In Pillars of Eternity, you pledged to consign the souls of the Holoborn to oblivion. But you ultimately gave the souls to Wodica. You supported maintaining the gods' secrets as well as your own. You did everything wrong. You pledged to do the bidding of every god and then scattered the souls of the Holoborn to a random location. Chaos! You got every companion killed. You got the worst outcome for every quest. This is worth a playthrough right here. If there was a mistake you could have made while still resolving the Holborn crisis, you made it. Not suggested for new players. And then there's me. Oh, I can import a save, but it's on another machine. No. No save files found. That's sad. That would have been a better memory than mine. Does everything appear to be in order? Yes. No! That's not what happened. Good. Welcome to the beyond. It's Barra. Barra. One half, anyway. Oh, half a Barra. She points a finger in the direction of the dwarf who led you here. Though the movement is slight, her gauntlet squeaks like a rusty hinge. The dwarf's rictus returns as he nods in the woman's direction. Tell me, do you remember when we last met? Um, do I remember? Or does my character remember? Hall of Stars, I definitely remembered you there. You prayed for my help in reaching Thales, beyond the Court of Penitence, and pledged yourself to me. Yeah, I said the words. Maybe not all of them are in the right order, but yeah. You I said them. Vows to Rimagold, Helia, and Garland. The skin of her face pulls tight as the edges of her mouth curl oh into boy. a macabre smile. Am I going to start at level zero because I dissed everyone? Still, you remained true to me. Admirable. I suspect those wronged by the vows you broke will be less forgiving. That's a, she that's a good take. She delicately a card on the table. A bell in a tower. Her fingertips slowly drag away from the card, faintly creaking as they retreat across the table. And then she taps it for two mana. You had need of the gods once before. Now it seems we have need of you. Gosh, how old is this series? Um, Pillars of Eternity 1? Gosh, I want to say... 
I don't know, three years? It's not? Maybe four? It's not that old. Oh, the gods need me this time. All is forgiven, then. The being that occupied Ogrilla's statue beneath your castle was the dead god, Aeothus. Oh. Of this, we are certain. What we do not know is what his intentions are. Um, okay, then. Note to self, don't build a new keep on top of the dead god. Though Aeothus stole a large fragment of Dragon, your soul, fine. you were strong enough to survive the onslaught and enter the in-between. You and he are still connected. He has chosen a body made of living Atra, profused with the power of thousands of souls, including yours. It should be little difficulty for an experienced watcher to find him. That's if I wanted to. Do I want him to take the rest of my soul? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that thing again. No, I'm heroic. No, but neither is your body truly alive. Your lungs draw breath, your heart pumps blood, but your flesh is as soulless as a hollow void. That is, until I return you. 